In this question, the wheel is rolling without slipping on a curved path. So we have to find the acceleration of C and A. So I will solve for C and uh, using the method, you should solve it for A as well. So there are two things which are known to us for pure rolling condition. First one is that velocity is equal to R omega. And from here, acceleration of O or velocity of O is equal to R omega and acceleration of O which is the center of mass is equal to R alpha uh, in the tangential direction. So this is known because we can apply that condition at the C point. Uh, this is instantaneously at rest. So acceleration will be equal to R alpha in the tangential direction. Okay. So we know that the net acceleration will be in the radial direction itself. But to apply the general condition what we need to do is we need to apply this particular formula that acceleration of any point when object is moving on a curvilinear path will be equal to acceleration of the center of mass plus acceleration of this point with respect to the center of mass. Now this is moving in a curvilinear path so we will divide this acceleration in normal direction as well as the tangential direction. So we'll divide this into two parts, normal and tangential direction. Okay. So till now, I hope this is clear. And this you should note down as a standard result to find acceleration about any point P. Because there is one mistake which students do is they simply write down R alpha as the answer or they will write down omega square R as the answer, which is not here in this particular case. So let's find out acceleration of O. Acceleration of the center of mass, again, it will be in the x direction. So it will be along the x direction and as well as it will be in the normal direction. So tangential and normal, both. So this will be equal to R alpha in the x direction plus V naught whole square, which is the velocity of the center of mass, V square by radius about this point, about which the object is, this center is, moving in the curve part. So it is this radius is equal to R minus R. So clearly you can see the total radius from here to C is R and you subtract this small R and therefore you get R minus R and this is in the J direction. So this is one thing which is known to us. Now going back to acceleration of center C point with respect to the center of mass in the normal direction. This will be very simple. This will be simply equal to omega square r and this direction will be in the positive y direction. Okay, so this is omega square r because this point with respect to the center of mass will be in this particular direction towards the center itself. Most of the students write this as an answer which is wrong. Now acceleration of the c point with respect to o in the tangential direction in the tangential direction. Now in this it will be equal to with respect to O. So with respect to O, it will be only R alpha, but it is in the negative direction, R alpha, and it is in the negative direction. So adding all the three, because this is what will give us the acceleration of the point C. So we'll add all these three, and what we'll get is this quantity, and this quantity will get reduced or minus because one is plus one is minus and we will be left with only these two quantities so it will be acceleration of c will be equal to v square by r minus r plus omega square r and in the j direction so now substituting the value v is equal to r omega so we'll put r square omega square plus omega square r into r minus r upon r minus r and this by solving we will get the acceleration as r square omega square we will take r square omega as omega square as common okay so it will take uh, omega square r as common and we will be left with r here plus r minus r here 
and we will be left with r minus r here and finally substituting we will get omega square r this this gets cancelled and upon we can say dividing by r on uh, numerator and denominator we will get r minus r j cap so i hope you have understood this question now if you have understood this question this is the acceleration and if you have understood this clearly you can solve for the acceleration of a you have to be careful that it is not omega square r or it is neither uh, v square by r minus r so these two can be given in the option so please be careful here okay thank you everyone and i hope you are understanding and uh, leveling yourself up okay so all the best for your exams